Before we get started, I'd like to introduce my Inkscape beginner course. Here, I'm going to explain in detail all the tools, the tool sets, and features in the Inkscape program. I'll explain what they are, how to use them, and why we use them. If you'd like to check that out, I'll have a link to that in the description. Hello everyone, it's Lori at artitdesigns.ca. I'm going to show you today how you can dock, move, change, arrange your uh, tabs and uh, these dockable items here. So let's click a couple of these open. So I've got this one here and this one here. Just double click them open and they should show up over here. So we're gonna we're gonna learn how to dock and undock these things. So before we get started, notice when I click on this one, the blue underline comes over here and this one, the blue underline here. So I'm just gonna pull this off and if I put it on top, you'll see that there's a green box. You see when I hover up top, this green box is here. Same as down here as well. If I go from down far enough, there'll be a green box there. So either way, we can just click and let go and it will cause it to stack on top of one another rather than beside. So how do we change that? Let's say we did that accidentally and we wanna put it back. We just put it up here and if you go too far, you go to the green line again, it'll have the same problem. But just pay attention to the blue line and try and place it beside there and right away it goes into place. So another thing is that you can drag this and go over to the side. Again, watch for the green line. Sometimes it's hard to find it, but there it is. So we let go. And you can also do that, but I find that it kind of makes the working size of your, your uh, program a little bit small. So let's put this back. Again, we'll just kind of line it up with the blue line. Um, so if we right click on this, and it doesn't matter which side you right click on it, you can close the tab. That will just get rid of the tab. But if you want it back, you have to go over here and open it up again. Uh, right click again. If we close the notebook, that closes everything, but you can't open it back up again. So once again, we have to go up here and double click everything open. And if we right click, we go to move tab to new window, it completely pulls it right off. So let's, let's uh, right here where the blue underline is, that's where you need to drag this thing over here, okay, to put it back. And right click, um, let's see, labels. Okay, so you'll see here we have text and icon. If we right click, we change it to off. One of them will be an icon, one will be text. So the last one will be text. Let's add a new one. So that's layers, that's the last one that I added. Then you'll notice that the other two are icons. And you can switch to each one to see what they are. Um, so, I mean, if you, if you wanted both the text, the text and the icon, you just gotta pull this out a little bit more so that it has room to expand here. But again, you're, you're kind of infringing on your working space. So um, it's, it's a matter of preference. Usually that's uh, pretty good. I mean, uh, I like to have both, but um, I don't usually have a bunch of dockable items open. Usually I just have one or two. And if I'm working on something, then I'll have more. Uh, let's see. So let's say we want to close this up entirely can pull it off to the side. So there's a shortcut for that as well. The shortcut is F12, F12. So we can dock that really quickly just by pressing the F12 button and then opening it again when we need it. Uh, let's see, I think I've shown you pretty much everything you need to know about docking in Inkscape 1.1. Uh, slightly different from previous versions, but um, still can be quite annoying if you can't figure it out and uh, frustrating. So if, you, if that was helpful at all, please do hit that like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.